Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So there is a lot going on with the update KB503441 that I posted on yesterday, which is failing to install for a lot of users. And I just wanted to post a follow-up update because I have seen a lot of comments. Obviously, this is uh, generating a lot of comments on the channel. And I just wanted to post an update quickly uh, just to kind of discuss a couple of things regarding 503 Now, as you can see, and as I mentioned yesterday, the update installed successfully for me. But for a lot of users, this update is failing to install. And Microsoft released this update uh, to address, apparently, a security vulnerability that could allow attackers, they say, to bypass BitLocker encryption by using Windows Recovery Environment, WinRE. Now, just a couple of points to take into consideration. First of all, for most, this update is not needed. And my reason for saying that, even if it's failing to install, your system will not uh, be open to, to um, attack and vulnerability because a hacker would need to have actual access to your device or your computer to be able to... Um, bypass the BitLocker encryption. So that's the first thing to take into consideration. So as I mentioned yesterday, the first thing is, if this update is failing to install, then just ignore it, because I'm sure that Microsoft will push out a bug fix for this update in the next coming weeks, hopefully sooner than later. So basically, this update is not needed if you're an average home user. And as mentioned, somebody would have to actually have to sit down at your computer and then bypass and try and bypass that BitLocker encryption. So um, even if this update is failing to install, I think everything should be okay with your device. Now, moving on to the disk partition, something else I want to bring to your attention. And I posted on this yesterday, and I'll leave that video down below where KB503441 was failing to install. And as I entitled it, uh, there is a fix, but just ignore it. Now, if you are brave enough, to try out the fix, which you can go check out, and um, it's all linked in that video from yesterday. Then, as mentioned, here is your recovery partition in the disk manager, uh, the disk management uh, dialog. Here's your recovery partition. Mine is 20 gigabytes. Now, for a lot of users, this is just a couple of hundred megabytes, and that's where the problem is: is that this partition is too small. And if you have the know-how and the technical know-how or are you are using third-party apps which can partition disks and so on, as many of you may know, then what you need to do is if you want to resize this for the update to be able to install, I would say at least make your, um, your recovery partition one gigabyte in size, at least. And um, if obviously you have the know-how to um, resize a a recovery partition and a disk partition, then make it a gig and that should resolve the issue. But I'm just going to say from the outset, if you don't have if you don't have the skill or the knowledge, just leave your disk partitions alone because you can you can brick and you can wreck your operating system if you if something goes wrong while trying to um, resize any disk partition, especially your recovery partition. So just take note of that. Now with that all out of the way, something else. Um, I want to just talk about is that this update is only really necessary if you have BitLocker encryption enabled on your system. And I posted a video last year in October on how to check and disable BitLocker and the BitLocker encryption on your device. And that video I'll leave down below if you want to check that out. So all the videos I'm talking about today, I'll leave in the description because it can give you a lot more info. And in that uh, video, um, you can see if BitLocker is enabled on your system. I went through that and basically how you can uh, check and disable it. So if you uh, want to see if BitLocker encryption is enabled on your system, you can go check that video out because if it's not enabled, um, then that's also another reason why this update could be failing to install. And obviously, if you don't have BitLocker encryption enabled and the update is failing to install, then everything should be A and OK on your system as well when it comes to vulnerabilities and threat and attack. Now, if this update um, is kind of um, nagging and annoying you and it's 
sitting here in your updates where it's failing to install as an example. Something you can also try is pause your updates. And what I would do is if the update is annoying you, then I would head to my advanced options over on Windows 10 and then I would pause the update um, at least until Microsoft rolls out their next update, which we are expecting at the end of this month, and pause it until that date. And then obviously that will pause any updates coming into your system. And while we are talking about updates, even if this uh, this uh, KB503441 is failing to install, I have been asked a question um, in the comments over the last day or so. And will my other updates install if this update is failing to install and um, yes the short answer to that is yes other updates will install but obviously this one and um, will keep failing to install until microsoft resolves the issue but all your other updates should be able to be um, downloaded and installed um, all okay even if that one is failing to install now something else you can try which i have also posted on previously on the channel is you can use a little microsoft app called Windows Update Show Hard. And for this, we're just going to head over quickly to my File Explorer because I have this already installed on both my Windows 10 and 11 devices. This is a Microsoft um, little app. And what it does is it allows you to hard any update. As an example, that maybe is failing to install and you just don't want to see it there sitting on your Windows Update page. And you can actually use this little app to hard the update. And this is a Microsoft app and it's safe and everything is okay with it. I've posted a video uh, last, sorry, in, in 2022, I posted a video in May on how to show or hard block updates on Windows 10 and 11 using the Microsoft Windows Update Show Hard tool. And this is also um, referred to as the hard updates tool as well. So what you do is, yeah, you can see once you've clicked next, you click hard updates and if that update is on your system and it's failing to install, you will see it listed here. You check the box next to the update, you go next and then the update will be hidden. And when you go back to your Windows Update page, the update will not be displayed on your Windows Update page. And something else, if we just run that tool once again, but as mentioned, um, go check that video out. It will give you a lot more info. And the download link for this tool is in the description of the video I did post on how to use this tool, which will also be down below. So you can download the tool from there if you'd like to. And something else you can do is you can also see your hidden updates. So if you want to see which updates you have hidden, they will be listed in this menu. And then you just click next and you can close the tool. And this is a good option. Totally safe. I've been using it for years. I've actually hidden an update on my Windows 11 device using this tool. Uh, it's not very big. It's a couple of kilobytes big. And it's a standalone tool. It does not get installed on your OS. So that's the good part about that. It doesn't actually, it's not an EXE file. It doesn't get installed on your system. So I just wanted to bring a couple of those points uh, to your attention because there's quite a lot of um, traffic in the comments regarding questions. And I just wanted to give some answers in case there was a bit of confusion. And obviously, if Microsoft does roll out a fix um, for this update or get any news of any information, then obviously I will post and let you guys know regarding the future of this update KB503441. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.